Hey everyone, Sam and Diana here with you on Seller Secrets episode number 14. Today we're going to discuss something that's very important, disclosing everything up front or handling it up front uh, before you put your home, before you go through the offer process. So why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, so, you know, when you're selling your home, smart sellers are very proactive in disclosing all the defects of their home prior to, to the closing or to an offer. So this way, the prospective buyer knows any repairs right. or anything that any, any major items that need to be known about, right? Because this can prevent lawsuits, this can prevent um, the buyers from backing out of a deal. So the smart sellers, they do take this more proactive approach. So why don't you give us some examples of some of these like situations and, and that you had experience with? Well, one of the one of the big ones that you need to be aware of, whether you're a buyer or your seller, is these kind of utilities, furnace, AC, hot water tank rentals. So people don't realize that when they get into these mostly AC or furnace rentals, to get out of it can be a huge hassle. Sometimes your penalties can be seven thousand, eight thousand dollars. Sometimes they can. I've seen twenty-five, thirty thousand yeah. dollars. So we had a scenario where the seller didn't disclose to us uh, how much it was to actually get out of the rental agreement, or the fact that the furnace was even a rental. And when we got to close to the closing date, the lawyers discovered that wait a minute, it's going to cost twelve thousand dollars to buy out this this item. And to kind of transfer the rental agreements is also a huge cost. And also maybe something the buyer doesn't want to do. Um, and the, here's the thing. Uh, the, the, these companies, they're, you know, they're crooks. These, these companies, they're, they get people locked into these long-term contracts with hefty, hefty uh, buyout uh, penalties. And then uh, when you're at a, at a situation where you have one day to close, uh, and that's when they really try to leverage uh, because they know you're desperate, so they give you a higher amount. And the, the situation where they said 25,000, it was just out of line, like out of this world. And, and basically they settled for something around $15,000. But the, the seller the had stress, to do that because right? if the seller didn't close, the buyer was gonna sue them because now the buyer also sold their house. So they were basically had everything in a truck ready to move. So you don't wanna leave these things to last minute. The best solution, be proactive get ahead of it, make sure that you, you call them up. First of all, never get into these contracts. Uh, before you do, just remember this video. and uh, Or at least review, like if you are gonna get into it, review it yeah. and make sure that the penalties are, are not that harsh and um, the buyouts are not too expensive, so. A lot of buyers will not assume that contract because yeah. what happens is once the, once you're selling your house, if the, if the buyer has to assume that contract um, then and if they don't do that then basically you have to you have to pay the penalty also the purchase price assumes these owned fixtures and products that are That's in the right. house so if if later they find out it's not owned well a furnace is, could be like five thousand dollars or an ac could be whatever number so that could be reduced from the purchase price as well and other things like you know having a pre-inspection report can really help you as well if there's leaks in the basement or certain cracks or anything that can really turn the buyer off during the due diligence period can really help you so if you know what defect defects you have in the house you can easily fix it for a lot less than having the buyer do an inspection a they walk away b they ask you for a huge price reduction that's right be proactive and, and you'll sell your home for top dollars and much faster Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching and subscribe and make sure you turn the notification on.